to make up for the very long video, this one is not going to be very long. What I do have are, are those two special patterns that I, I told you to watch out for. And that's that was in the lesson. But really, I mean, this I asked you, you're just going to have to memorize them and then use them as a red flag. If you ever see this expression, that's when you're going to know, hey, I can take that and just make it set it equal to zero. That's what that limit is. Um, same thing here, if you ever see that sine over x, um, sine of x over x, that's a red flag as well. If you're taking the limit as x approaches 0, that's just 1. Okay, so we're going to use these quite often, and I'm going to keep these to the side here. Um, the other thing are, these are from way, way long ago. It's actually over 400 pages ago when we saw these. But these are the properties of limits, and what I've done is I've just put them off to the side here. If you want to flip, I think it's actually page 220. So in page 220, you can go ahead and look these over, but I've written them here. Um, you can look up examples from the past, but we're going to use them, so maybe by using them, you'll be able to be refreshed enough. All right, so I am going to do some examples, and the first one that I'm going to do here is a very, very simple one. I'm going to do number 15. And what 15 asks you to do is evaluate the limit as x approaches 3 of tangent of pi x over 4. So this is going to be one of those things where you try to directly substitute in as as outlined in the steps that I provided in the, the lesson. So you always are trying to directly substitute in if you can. Oops, sorry, why am I doing that? So I'm going to hope that if I plug in 3 here, I'm going to get the limit of this whole thing is equal to tangent of just 3 pi over 4. And can you evaluate that? So I am going to refer to that unit circle. This is going to be one of those things where I take my pi and quarter it. So here's my pi halved and then quartered, and then I want three of them, so not even a full pi. I go over this way, so what is the tangent of that? Well, here's one of those 45, 45, 90s. It's one of those special triangles, of course, and this is just going to be negative 1 because on your unit circle, 3 pi fourths has that value of um, negative square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2, and when you look at that, you take the opposite over the adjacent, you get negative 1. Okay, so that's that one. All right, let's look at something more complicated. I'm going to look at number 39. All right, 39's direction says determine the limit of the trigonometric function if it exists. So don't forget, it's possible to have the DNE that does not exist. So when I'm looking at this, um, First of all, if I plugged in 0, I would go ahead and attempt to just directly substitute this in. It would be sine of 0 over 5 times 0, big problem, 0 on the bottom. So can't do that, okay? Can't directly substitute in yet. However, if you can go ahead and manipulate this in any way, and then also you're looking out for these, and what I see right there is a sine of x over x, okay? And we are approaching 0. So, I mean, hopefully what you can do is get this 5 out of there somewhere, somehow. So I'm going to rewrite this as x as it approaches 0, the limit of this function, and I'm going to write it as 1 over x times sine of x over x. Okay, same thing, I just expanded this. So I've rewritten it, manipulated it a bit. Um, here, this is where I'm going to go ahead and use some of these properties, and it states that if you have a scalar multiple, this was property number one. I can take that scalar multiple and bring it out and just evaluate this. So I'm going to take one fifth times the limit as x approaches zero of sine of x over x. All right, so this is, oops, this is nice because this is a red flag right here. It is all equal to one. So I have one fifth times one. This thing is equal to one fifth. Done. Okay, so this right here, one fifth. Evaluated. I'm going to look at 47. So maybe you're trying to get this a little bit more complicated. I am going to try to evaluate limit of x approaching pi over 2 of cosine of x over cotangent of x. All right, here's once again one of those ideas that I'm just going to try to directly substitute in, cosine of pi over 2. This is cotangent of pi over 2 my unit circle, I'm going to be looking at the particular point that's taking pi and having it, so here's my pi halves. When I look on top, what is cosine of this? Well, it's just zero, 
Okay, so it would be 0 over what is cotangent of this. So in other words, what is cosine over sine? So when I look at what is cosine, that's just the, the horizontal movement. It would be 0 over, and then here it's my, my y value of that is just 1. That's what cotangent is. It's the x over the y value. So right here, I mean, that's problematic because 0 divided by 1 is 0. So now, once again, bad garbage. Okay, so I'm going to try to rewrite this using some of my trig identities. Instead of looking at it as the limit as x approaches pi over 2 of this, this I'm going to rewrite it using one of those quotient identities. So I'm going to get co uh, cosine of x over sine of x. Okay, so this right here is one of those identities. I, I will even write it, quotient identity. So once again, I have not changed the value of this whatsoever. Uh, I've just changed the look a little bit. And then now instead of taking a fraction divided by a fraction, I'm going to rewrite it as the limit as x approaches pi over 2 of cosine of x times sine of x over cosine of x. So I've taken this times the reciprocal of the divisor. So now this is what's beautiful. I can see that those are going to cancel each other out. All I'm doing is evaluating now the limit as x approaches pi over 2 of sine of x. Okay, so now I can directly substitute in pi over 2. Uh, sine of x does not have any asymptotes in it. It's continuous. It's just a beautiful flowing wave. And therefore, we know that we can calculate the limit at all places on it. So when I look at sine of pi over 2, it is just 1. I think I'm going to end it with that. Please feel free to do as many of these problems for as much practice as you can. Um, you're just going to try to rewrite, rewrite as much as possible and see if you can't um, solve these when you get stuck with something like this. If you can't directly substitute in, you got to just try to manipulate, rewrite it. Um, look for these. Also, look for, look for these, that you're using the properties of these limits and then also looking for these red flags.